Good evening, Mark Sutter with HurricaneTrack.com. It's about 8.55 p.m. Eastern Time as I record this video discussion of Hurricane Matthew. This is the latest forecast track. You've probably already seen this, but I want to talk about it just a little bit. 5 p.m. advisory package has it running basically up the 75th longitude line and maybe a little bit east of there towards western Haiti and then eventually southeast Cuba and into the central Bahamas here as a major hurricane, keeping the core of the strongest winds away from Jamaica entirely. However, tropical storm force winds do extend out up to 200 miles from the center, so it's possible that eastern Jamaica could still experience tropical storm conditions and then very heavy rainfall as the spiral bands move around. But it looks like the worst of the conditions will be confined to this area over here, and that would include, of course, all of Haiti and southeast Cuba under the gun as well. And then from there, it moves into the western Atlantic with a lot of uncertainty as to what happens up in this area, and we can address that over the coming couple of days. First of all, of course, it's going to impact the Caribbean, and then we need to see what happens once it reaches the Bahamas, how the upper air pattern evolves. There's a lot of different things that could happen. We know that. And so days four and five here, and we'll just wait and see how that pans out later on. There will be impacts along the southeast coast. It's just a matter of to what extent and how they reveal themselves. And I'll talk about that uh, probably even starting tomorrow. Here's a wider perspective of where Matthew is located tonight. Very well-defined hurricane with a very tight, well-organized core. There's that weird blob showing up once again. Uh, just an area of extra convergence and rising air off to the east. I don't know why it has been so persistent with this particular feature, but there it is nonetheless. Notice over here, this rotating little thing, that is 98L, and it's trying to get its act together, but the strong upper-level flow coming out of Matthew should eventually squash this system down to nothing and it doesn't really look like it's going to develop much over the next few days and in fact the less it develops maybe the more west matthew will end up with time we'll just have to wait and see about that a closer satellite examination of matthew this evening look at this round area once again of deep convection those are the thunderstorms pressing up against the atmosphere just incredible uh, the upward motion here, very, very strong winds around that core there. And then you see the larger extent of the circulation with these rain bands. Every once in a while, one of them will rotate through Jamaica. You may have seen on social media, I posted it on my Twitter earlier, that there was a water spout generated from one of these rain bands that went through Jamaica earlier today. And uh, a fella uh, on holiday, as they call it, from the UK captured it. And I put it on my Twitter, sharing it with all of our followers but then look at this huge blow up again over here in the east I just I don't know why it keeps doing that it's very strange uh, if it ever wraps one of these bands around and really tries to pull that energy in and stop competing with itself I guess it could get stronger again water temperatures between where it is now and up here towards Jamaica and Haiti very very warm so I don't see any reason for this to weaken it was kind of fluctuate back and forth. One thing I did want to point out, the rain is a big story for this region, for sure, upwards of three feet in some locations, two to three feet of rain. That's incredible. Add to that, you know, this thing's pushing a lot of water ahead of itself. And so these wave heights out here, some of them are going to exceed 40 feet. That's just amazing. 40-foot waves, four-story building. Wow, so those waves will come crashing onto shore on these south-facing beaches, and that will eventually include parts of uh, southeastern Cuba. Less significant wave heights. Some of them will be coming from the northeast over here uh, along Jamaica, so that's going to be a, a problem from anybody, for anybody going into the water. And then these waves will eventually start to propagate out once this gets into the Bahamas, and then those waves will move out towards the United States from there, and we can talk about that when that comes, because that will be the first problem from Matthew for the United States, will be the swells generated. Surfers are going to love it. And that will be a small boost for the economy, to be honest with you, all the surfers that will head down to the beach. But swimmers, especially younger swimmers and weaker swimmers, water temperatures are still 80 or above from basically Cape Hatteras south. 
And so lots of people still at the beaches during the day when they can. This will be a problem as the week goes on, I guarantee it. And we will talk about that more as the week progresses. Nothing really new and dramatic with the modeling, so no reason to even worry about that right now. The 0Z run of all the major models will commence later tonight, and I'll talk about it tomorrow morning. All right, that's it for me for this evening. Have yourselves a great rest of your Sunday night. Thanks, as always, for tuning in. I appreciate it. Uh, I am Mark Suddeth, HurricaneTrack.com, and we'll talk again tomorrow.